typical semi final, two teams that really wanted to win. And both teams left one or two opportunities out there. And the end of the day, it was uh, one point in it. Unfortunately, one point is the biggest and the smallest margin in back. So, uh, pretty disappointed. Pretty to win the four wins. You're kind of getting your foothold there in the middle of the second half. You just couldn't find that score. Yeah, there were one or two moments that, that we created. A big moment and a massive goal in the left hand corner in the, in the second half, and unfortunately, they didn't go all way. Very happy about the opportunities we created, possibly work on our execution and finishing some of those opportunities, but yeah, that's finished now. Johan, what's your assessment of the Yang Time yellow card situation? I go and have a look at it without um, emotion. It's a big call in the game. It's going five yards away. Obviously, in the semi final, if you can see the other card, um, it costs us. So I'll go and have a look at it without emotion once I get down. Peter, there was an instant in the corner here, that top corner there, where one minute it looked like Jordan Arm was going to be penalised for picking the ball up from an offside position. It's that go, rook develops, and you guys get done at the rook, which seemed to be a massive swing. What was your view of that? Um, I didn't see, uh, I ended up in that rook, but I didn't, I didn't see what happened behind me, so I, I can't really comment on it. Um, he said something about, I think, someone used their foot in, in the rook, I think, so. And you have no appreciation of what happened before the rook, have you? Oh yeah, well, like we put Jordan under pressure, we got up. I got up. Counter rocked. I thought. I thought we. I thought we stayed in our feet and did well. But obviously, someone. Someone didn't. The penalty with a five-point cushion. Would you? I mean, it's easy to say in hindsight that you probably should have gone to the post or taken your points. But well, did that leave you frustrated? It's 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 easy to say in hindsight, but it, there's, there's decisions to be made out there. You know, 65 after 65 minutes of rugby. You know what I mean? That's my call. I got to make those calls. You know what I mean? What was your sense at that moment, Peter? What, what was the feeling? I, I felt like we were, we had a lot of momentum. Um, you know, we were we were winning a lot of collisions. We were we were going well up the field, and that was my decision at the time. You know what I mean? That's, that's the way I felt it was going. Do you feel you had a bit more time out there that the game had swung your way with that, with that momentum after? Obviously, yeah, look, if we'd gone down there and scored, it would have been a big momentum changer, obviously. But you know, we were inaccurate at the line out. Put us on the back foot. Then we were on the back foot and conceded a turnover mm -hmm. there. Penalty holding on. Just one point, but it is a big point. It must be a sort of bittersweet end to, to, to the season to come so close to Leinster, but not be able to just finish it off. Yeah, it is. It is. You know that. I mean, they're you know they're they're leading the setting the standard in in um, in Europe and and this competition and you know. We came out here. We said we'd leave nothing out here, and we didn't. Um, you know, some of our there was inaccuracies, inaccuracies there certainly, which, which luckily for us, there are things that we can fix. But you know, if we'd come out here and rolled over, that would be a different story. That's something you can't fix. And and we fought to the end. You weigh points down, you go back up the way, and you score a try in the post, and you give yourselves another shot to, you know, to to win the game. You know, it takes a lot. Of, it takes a lot of. It takes a lot of me mental ability and mental strength to do that, but as I said, the Owen come up here, we can't we can't let that happen. That eight, eight point gap is, is too big. Was JJ injured at half time? Yes. Medical team said he couldn't continue and had to change straight away. You know, and as I say, one point today, and obviously Racing pulled ahead in their early stages that semi final, but it ended up being a narrow scoreline. Do you feel that's very reflective of where this squad is and next season with those? Lessons uh, learned from trophies. Yeah. yeah, look, um, I've come in, in the middle of November, um, so we'll take our time to to review our planning for the pre-season. It's, it's well on the way. And we said from day one we we're not going to change a lot in the first six months. Um, I think we we um, moved our plan a bit forward, like you saw out there today. Obviously, it's, uh, execution is something that we want to work on. You know, we got very close against the two teams that played the final in Europe. I think it was a five-point game and a one-point game. So it's one score in it. Um, all credit to the players who 
for drugs and games. And um, you know, that's that's rugby, unfortunately. Sometimes it goes for you, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the decision does, and sometimes it doesn't. Um, we want to improve. Currently, Leinster are the trendsetters in Europe, and obviously they're the team to to beat. Um, so, like I said before, very disappointing. It's nothing bittersweet in this. This is only bitter. Um, but you've got to give credit where it's due and um, take it on the chair and move on.